This is Dot. She is in the fourth grade. Since kindergarten, she has wanted to be a civil engineer when she grows up. The reason Dot wants to be a civil engineer is that her parents are both civil engineers. They work for the North Carolina Department of Transportation. As long as Dot can remember, she has heard her parents talk about the type of work they do each day. Dot's parents told her about the friendly people they meet and talk with as they travel and work in different communities across North Carolina. Sometimes on Sundays after dinner, the family would take long rides around the city and countryside. Along the way, Dot's parents would point out some of the projects they helped to design and build. They pointed to a bridge, the highway they were about to cross, and the belt line they were riding on. This is how Dot found out what an important job civil engineers have. Dot's parents told her how they helped to provide safe state roads for the people who live in North Carolina and the people who travel through our state. They told her, we must make it possible for everyone to have the best roads and highways to take them anywhere across the state. We calculate and map the shortest, most direct way to get from one place to another. One Sunday after dinner, while Dad was driving the family on their usual outing, Dot said, I want to be a civil engineer when I grow up, just like you. We are happy you want to be like us when you grow up, said Mom and Dad with a huge smile. We enjoy the work we do, and we're proud of your decision. Tell me more about the kind of work you do, said Dot. Sure, said Mom. As Dad drove on the fast-paced belt line, Dot's mom told her how she used her imagination and ideas to help plan the belt line many years ago. You mean that this belt line started as someone's idea? asked Dot. Yes, said Mom. Dot's eyes grew big with excitement. We took great care to figure out how and where we could build this belt line without disturbing the forests and woods, Mom said. We used the most modern computers to select just the right location, one that would protect the environment, the animals, but most of all, the communities and the people who live in it.